often asked here at Daly's Nursery, how do you prepare fruit and what do you do with them? So what I have here today are some pomelos. This variety is called a Nam Roy and it's a new Vietnamese variety of pomelo. And as you can see, it's a really enormous citrus. And these are just fabulous. They're related to grapefruits and they have a grapefruit flavor, but without the real sourness. So they've got a little bit more sweetness to them. They're also a very tropical citrus. So if you do grow in the tropics, this is your perfect choice. And they really are the best breakfast citrus out. They're just lovely. And I'm gonna show you today how to cut it up and how you can prepare it so it's ready to eat. These other ones I have here are a variety called Flix Yellow. Now this is a hybrid cross between a pomelo and another kind of citrus, probably an orange, which means it's a little bit sweeter, but it's also a little bit more cold tolerant. So they're really great if you're outside of the tropics or in a more temperate climate. The Nam Roy is perfect for tropical and subtropical climates. So if you're lucky enough to live in frost-free subtropical or tropical Australia, this is a really excellent choice. Now, the bit of the pomelo that you actually eat are the vesicles inside. And here are some of the flicks yellows that I've cut up earlier. So you don't even eat the membrane around the segments of the fruit. It literally is just the very inside bits that you eat. So how do you get into it? Now, this is one way that you can present your fruit. So you can actually cut the skin back and you can see here how thick that skin is. So this particular variety, the Namoroi, has very, very thick skin. Although this fruit weighs about a kilo, as you'll see when I cut it open, it's actually much smaller inside and there's a lot of skin to it and pith. The great thing about that is it does keep the pests at bay. So what you need is a knife, Start at the top, just cut around and take that off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut around like you would with an orange. Just in a spiral all the way around the fruit. This is actually really quite satisfying. Now if you want to do this, you just stop about a third of the way down. Then you just pull all that peel off. So you can see how thick it is already. Comes off very, very easily. Now the next bit you've got to clean all this pith off. So this takes a bit of work as well. You've just got to spend a bit of time cutting down to the flesh and getting rid of all that thick white pith that you don't want to eat. Now I'm about halfway through preparing my fruit and I'm just going to show you what it looks like at this stage because this is when you can really see how thick the rind is. So this is the fruit and you can see that big thick layer of rind. So this is what I've taken off. And this is what keeps things like fruit fly out because there is no way any fruit fly is going to be able to sting this fruit. It also just cushions and protects your fruit. So I'm just going to finish cleaning this up and then I'm going to show you how to get those beautiful luscious vesicles out of their membranes. So we, here we have the peeled fruit and I'm going to show you how to get into it. I'm just going to cut this in half. So you just need to um, separate your fruit so that you can get into the insides and then the vesicles should just pop out for me. This one I've cut in half so we might just pull that one out. It just comes away from the, from the membrane. So I'm just going to peel that off. It's quite thick, so this is the skin that's in between each of the segments. And you don't eat that, so as you can see it's quite leathery and thick. There's a few seeds. They just pop out. 
and this is the bit that we're looking for so this is the segment of fruit just comes away like that which is all the vesicles inside and it's just beautiful mmm tastes like grapefruit but just lightly it doesn't have the very sour taste that Jack uh, that um, grapefruit has it's just beautiful you can present these on a plate you could put little toothpicks in them or something to make them look really presentable or gorgeous serve them up with different types of fruit like I said it's a really fabulous breakfast fruit it's very refreshing without the sort of high acidity of the grapefruit it's just lovely and as you can see it's got a beautiful pale almost limey yellow color which contrasts quite with the fixed yellow which is more orange they're just beautiful be really good in any sort of um, Asian salads Thai salads that's the Namroi pomelo beautiful citrus and this is what you end up with this is the Namroi which is that beautiful pale yellow and this is the Flix yellow which is more orange and it shows its origins of having a bit of orange in its genetics this really is a fabulous fruit and if you see an unusual citrus that you've never tried before in a market grab one and have a go I've had a great time I've made a mess I've had a really really lovely time cutting this fruit up and trying it and tasting it and getting sticky and it's just been overall a really lovely experience so try something new and if you like it then grow one in your garden if you happen to be in a really nice warm spot because they're beautiful trees the fruit are really really fabulous and unusual people will be asking you what is that enormous citrus that you have if you have a small backyard you could even try growing a dwarf the namroi we do on the flying dragon rootstock so it's great for pots the most important thing because of the size of the fruit you do need to remove any fruit on your tree for the first couple of years and that allows your tree to grow into a really nice healthy strong specimen before it has to hold the weight of these enormous fruits so this is the pomelo a really really fabulous citrus